Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This is our third assignment on decision entry and 10th in our series of modeling. We have already covered classification and regression trees and now we'll see how we can improve them using bagging, random forest and boosting. We have also covered detailed theoretical concepts of decision tree in our previous video. So in case you haven't checked the video, then do check that out. I'll link it somewhere in the description. So let's start with question one. Question 1 is asking us to use Boston data and perform bagging. So we will first install the required package that is random forest. This package is used for bagging. Now I have already installed it. So I'm just calling the library. Then we'll load mass library in which Boston data set is available in R. And then we'll attach the Boston data set to load it. You can check the structure of the data as well, but just to give you a brief about it, this data set contains information collected by the US Census Service concerning house in the area of Boston. The data frame has 506 observations for 14 variables. Variables such as per capita crime rate by town, proportion of non-retail business acres per town, average number of rooms per dwelling, nitric oxide level in the town, etc. The dependent variable is MEDV, which is median value of owner occupied homes in 1000s. So that's what this data is basically about. Now we move to the next step that is to set the seed. And then we'll create train variable for splitting the data into training and test part. So we will use sample command here as usual. And the sample size would be 70% of total number of rows. So that is how we'll create our variable. Now we'll perform bagging using random forest function. So the first argument here would be the formula. That is basically the dependent variable followed by a tilde, which is this wavy sign and then a dot. So dot means we are using all the predictor variables. Then we'll mention the data, which is Boston. And here we are subsetting it using the training observations. After that, we'll mention m try is equal to 13. This means include all the variables. And then importance is equal to true, which indicates whether we should consider the importance of variables or not. Then we'll run this and our bag model is ready. Now we can check the output as shown here. So it gives some basic self-explanatory details such as it's a regression tree, 500 trees were created, number of variables tried at each split, which is 13, residuals coming equal to 11.99 and so on. Now let's use our model to make the prediction. So we can use the predict function here to make our prediction. First argument is the model. Second argument is our test data. And we'll run this and store it in the variable yhead.bag. Then we'll simply take the difference between our dependent variable from our test data, that is medv, and yhead.bag, that is the predicted values of medv from our model. And then we'll square them and then we'll take the mean. This will give us the error, which is coming out to be 22.36. Now the explanation is also given here. So let's see the explanation below. It says, if you use the tree function for regression and find optimally pruned tree, then the MSC would be around 25. You can try this at your home. But after begging, we can see that our error is reduced to 22.36. Hence, we can conclude that begging has improved our results. Furthermore, we can also tweak various parameters and try different combinations which may give us even better results. So that is how bagging is done. Now my purpose here was to show you the process. So I'm not going to tweak any other parameters, but I hope you have got the idea how bagging is done. Now let's move on to the next question. It says perform random forest on the same data. So for random forest, we will again use the same function. 
but this time we will use mtry is equal to 6 instead of 13 because in random for it we do not use all the variables however if you don't mention it then mtry by default is p by 3 and square root p for regression and classification respectively now we can run this and store it in the variable rf.boston then we'll make the prediction and store it in the variable yhead.rf then we'll take the difference of the predicted value and the dependent variable square it and then take the mean as we did in begin this way we'll get our msc for random forest which is coming out to be 15.65 now as you can see the msc from random forest is even better from begging so we'll move to the next part that is question 2a it says check the importance of each variable so to check the importance of each variable we can simply use the importance function and give the model as an argument this will return the importance of each variable now let's read the explanation to understand these results so first point says two measures of variable importance are reported here the first measure is based upon the mean decrease in accuracy and predictions on the out of back samples when a given variable is excluded from the model then the second measure is a measure of the total decrease in node impurity averaged over all trees so a node is 100 percent impure when a node is split evenly 50 50 and it is 100 percent pure when all of its data belongs to a single graph. So we aim to reach maximum nodal purity. Then the next point says, in the case of regression trees, the node impurity is measured by the training RSS and for classification tree, it is measured by the deviance. Now let's move on to the next question. It says plot these importance measure. So we will use varimp plot function and give the model as an argument to create this plot. Now you can see the plot is printed here. So from the graph we can see that the results indicate that across all the trees considered in random forest, the wealth level of the community that is Lstat and house size that is RM are by far the two most important variables. So that's how we can find the importance of the variables. Now moving on to the next question. It says perform boosting. So for this we will first have to install our package GBM. Now again I have already done it. So I am only calling the library. So we will be using GBM function along with the following arguments as shown here. Now I have included an explanation to explain these arguments. So let's read the explanation. So the first two arguments are formula and training data, which is already clear. So we'll move to the third argument. So we use Gaussian distribution for regression and Bernoulli for classification. So we have many more distributions available in this function, which is a separate topic and is not required right now. If you want, you can read more about GPM on internet. But for now, just understand that Gaussian is used for regression and Bernoulli is for classification. Then we have n dot trees, which is given as 5000. It could have been any other number, but we want to generate huge number of trees. So we have mentioned 5000. Then we have interaction dot depth is equal to 4, which means limit the depth of each tree to 4. That is the maximum number of nodes per tree. Now more than two nodes are required to detect interactions and by default six node tree works fine in most cases. Each split we do increases the total number of nodes by three and the number of terminal nodes by two. But here we are limiting the interaction dot depth is equal to four. Then we could also have varied the number of splits which basically controls the complexity of the boosted ensemble. Usually d is equal to one works fine but we could have varied this as well. Then we can use different shrinkage parameter lambda. By default it is 0.001. Now lambda controls the rate at which boosting algorithm learns. 
very small lambda would require large number of trees. So typically lambda varies between 0 0.1 to 0 0.001. So this was the explanation for all the arguments. Now let's make the prediction. So we will follow the exact same procedure that we followed above. That is we'll make the prediction and then we'll calculate the MSE. So here you can see we have got MSE is equal to 18.85. Now for conclusion, I have summarized the result of all the three methods. We can see that the test MSE from optimally pruned tree is 25. That is if we had calculated using the tree function. Then test MSE using bagging is 22. Then test MSE is 15 when we use random forest. And test MSE was 19 when we use boosting. And as I said earlier, we can further vary different parameters in all these techniques and can get different results. However, I meant to give you a good idea about how these techniques work. So that will be all from this assignment. Let's quickly revise what we have learned so far. We have learned three methods here, bagging, random forest and boosting. We also checked the important variables given by random forest and we also plotted a plot showing the most important variables. So with this, we have completed all the assignments on a topic decision tree. Now guys, all these algorithms, linear regression, logistic regression, decision tree are very vast topics and very powerful techniques. But I hope you have got a good foundational level understanding from these videos. I have tried to explain each and everything here. So I hope you are finding it helpful. We have a lot more to go. I'll see you in the next video where we will cover other topics like multinomial logistic regression, knife bias, etc. So until next time, have a great time. See you.